हरि ओम प्रणाम्स अ हार्टी कंग्रेचुलेशंस टू ऑल द ग्रेजुएट्स फ्रॉम द चिन्मय मिशन बाल विहार प्रोग्राम यू हैव गॉन थ्रू सेवरल इयर्स ऑफ बाल विहार ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड लर्न एंड प्रैक्टिस दैट व्हिच इज नोन एज हिंदुइज्म पॉपुलरली ऑल्सो नोन एज वैदिक सनातन धर्म द प्रोग्राम हैज फ्रॉम खिंडर गार्डन और इवन प्री के all the way up until the 12th grade a systematic curriculum but one has to understand that this curriculum is a very difficult curriculum <clears throat> why is it difficult it is difficult because you are trying to bring that civilizational that historical that religious spiritual wealth which is from the satya yuga all the way down to this yuga kali yuga that which we are a part of so dhruva nachiketa prahlad then bhagwan shri ramchandra ji then in the dwapara bhagwan krishna bhagwan then in this kali yuga <coughs> there is a lot of aspects that have to be brought in the history is vast the civilization is deep the cultural aspects are varied but all of this is connected through the vaidika dharma that which brings things together being its essence is called dharma one of the explanations of it <clears throat> and that is what is the focus of the vedic literature those who follow these vedic way of life dharmic way of life those are called hindu now to explain all of this there is a 14 years from pre k all the way to 12th grade the effort that is put by all the teachers the teaching staff by those who are in the admin those who are in the board those who are in the book stall those who are in the parking lot there are several volunteers week after week after week who come with only one motive with one only idea that this rich culture rich tradition that which we are an integral part of can be parted to the next generation so that they can understand assimilate and grow grow to be a great hindu but to the society be able to contribute as the greatest human being now this 14 years the syllabus it would be wrong to say that we are able to give all that scriptural wisdom vaidik wisdom because i have been a teacher a sanyasi a brahmachari for the last 30 years i am still researching studying and there is much more to cover so that vastness are we able to deliver in this 14 years probably not definitely not but then i can very surely say that in these 14 years an introduction into what is hinduism what are the basic tenets of hinduism what is the dharm dharmic way of life to live is very clearly laid out to understand such that this vast knowledge and wisdom when you are in a fix and you want to exactly know if it is with regards to health i can go to ayurveda if it it is regards to the well being then i can go to the ashtanga yoga 
<coughs> Patanjali Maharshi is Ashtanga Yoga. When it is about Bhakti, I can go to Bhagavad Shastra, Bhagavad Gita, Narada Bhakti Sutras. When it is with regards to the Karma Yoga. So each one, I know where exactly I can find the nuanced wisdom that I can quickly study, understand, apply. That much of introduction can be given through these 14 years. But more importantly, the idea is after having gone through these 14 years, especially in this particular country where we as a Hindu population are a minority. It's a very well known fact that we are a minority. Now this minority group has to now adjust itself to accommodate themselves into the society here while trying to find their own identity, come to terms with it, find the pride in it, practice it. That is the key. That these 14 years is to instill that Shraddha in the student, that commitment to practice and the Shraddha and commitment is not complete if there is absence of clarity. Because conviction is born only where there is clarity. So I really thank all the teachers, all the volunteers, all the sevaks and sevikas who have tirelessly given their time, effort, energy, resources towards this particular beautiful cause. That cause which <coughs> Puja Gurudev, Swami Chinmayananji learned from Swami Taponam Maharaj brought it down to the common fold, common folks, so that they can learn, appreciate and practice it to make their way of life, their practices nobler, higher, giving more than what we take, to give knowledge, wisdom, to give support, care, concern, to, to be able to be an active part of the society where we are plugged in, where we are an integral part of as a solution, a solution provider. Now these roots, these, these seeds have been set, but the roots may not have grown. Many parents in their anxiety come and say, Swamiji, we bring these kids constantly to Chinmaya Mission. They come every Sunday, they learn. But we don't see them put it to practice. Where are we failing? It is not your personal failure as parents. By the way, congratulations to the parents as well for this graduation. It's not your failure. You have to understand the psychology behind it. What is the psychology? <clears throat> so I'll give you an example. Most of us who have grown up in India, probably by the third or fourth grade, we have to take the public transit system and we have to uh, start relying upon reading the environment, knowing the environment, who to trust, who to talk, who to believe in, how to navigate myself. Now, as I am interacting with the world where the onus is on me to make that decision, all the values that have been taught the routing starts happening when you start experimenting with it and there was enough scope. In this particular country where the child cannot be left home alone under 12 years, the child does not get to be driving or be independent until 15 or 16. By the time they get their license permit and license, they're already one foot is out, they're ready to go out into the world. So very less, very minimal opportunity, if at all so, uh, to experiment with what they have learnt. But now, it's a crucial intersection. Up until now, as children, as students, you have lived for 18-19 years under the umbrella of parents, elders, well-wishers, 
that have been there always with you to guide you to nag you to inform you to share their wisdom to share their perspective and also to be your backup that when your room is like a mini tornado uh, there's mom who is always there helping to set things right you've forgotten your clothes in the laundry by the time you come back it is folded a magical mystical person lives mysteriously things get happen food is on the table dish washing happens but as you step out all these small 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 things that have been constantly taken care of for the last 18 years you get out of it you get out of that comfort zone and you get into the pleasantly pressured situation pressure is not bad it's that's why i called it ple- uh, pleasant pressured system of the university where you have the freedom of choice you have the freedom of uh, expressing yourself going out learning everything new being responsible for yourself being responsible for the things around while educating studying learning and growing through it while this happens your personal care your personal uh, secure environment the responsibility happens on you this is where the experimentation on all the values that which were taught the the ways of life you start experimenting upon that is when you start rooting but one thing to be clear that always focus on never to be complacent and be stuck to be stagnant in life the rooting the deeper it goes the higher is the tree the rooting into your own value system the deeper it is the identity with which as a <clears throat> practicing hindu the deeper it is the higher is your stature in the world now being there is not for just accolades and accomplishments being there you are at a better visibility a better grip of life where you can be the solution provider educated well versed wisdom overflowing experience you have experimented with it and with all this and the blessings of your elders blessing of your gurus you thus prepare yourself to be the solution providers to the world that you belong to wherever you are wherever you are an integral part of but then in that field of responsibility sometimes what happens that the priorities can get mixed up see the first responsibility is to educate yourself to become a learned person that's what the university is meant for then it is a time to experiment with your choices and freedom it is a place for making friends making new acquaintances probably many of which will last for a long period and all of this you are stepping into with the anxiety of uncertainty you don't know how it will turn out you don't know how it will be beautiful but hey that uncertainty is also good it keeps you alert it keeps you available to look at the chances with an inquisitive mind that any challenge with that inquisitive mind to absorb to to soak every experience but if the priority is not in the right order take a glass jar pour golf balls into it a big one a fairly a big glass jar pour golf balls into it then take small pebbles pour them into it you will still have space for that you have to give it a little nudge you'll see that there is space that it has accommodated it if you think if you make a conclusion that it is full no it still has space where dry sand you start pouring it and it will accommodate that dry sand take few cans of uh, coke or pepsi and start pouring it it will still accommodate now calculate all of this okay 
the amount of coke that has gone in the amount of sand that has gone in the amount of pebbles that have gone in the number of golf balls that have gone in calculate all of that let us reverse the order let us put that similar amount same amount of coke into the coke or pepsi whichever or even water pour that same amount into the glass second glass jar and then pour the sand equal amount <coughs> then pour the same amount of pebbles you will be surprised that by the time it comes to fitting the same number of golf balls there is not enough space why because the order of priority has changed similarly when you are going there to learn to soak to absorb all the experiences and to become a wise man with the liberating wings of freedom choice and wisdom if the priority is not right that you are there for education you are there for learning you are there for honing your skills if that is not the priority partying friends different clubs if that become the priority <clears throat> I'm not saying it should not be there but what should be the order in the golf balls are like your um education the pebbles are your personal grooming personal responsibility for your food for your health for your exercise for your room for your upkeep the sand sand is the time where you have the obligations towards your friend towards your family yes that reminds me for the sake of your mother for the sake of your parents please call them on a weekly basis if not daily they'll be worried sick so for their sake please do call them so you need that time and resource energy so you have to plan for it so all of that obligatory uh, incidentals that you have that would be the sand once you are done with all of this then you have time for friends then you have time for some downtime so that you can sit back chill relax but if the priority is not there that which should have been in this creative opportunity in this building up opportunity that we have where we can soak a lot if that is wasted with a wrong priority i have i have come across many who have come to you know 35s and 40s where they start saying swami ji there was nobody to tell us that at that time it was meant for this we wasted it and i am now landed up in this particular uh, crossroads of life where even if i want to spend time learning i don't have the capacity to retain capacity to remember capacity to reproduce and be that sharp you have that opportunity so let that priorities be straightened out along with that cherish every moment do not shy away and one more point there will be failures a life without failure is a myth there will be failures there will be tough times you will certainly fall but the key is how quickly do i regain myself back into the balance back into the groove back on the track to try again to never give up failure is not end in all when you when we do fail don't look at it as an accomplishment loss therefore it is uh, a situation where you don't have enough room for face saving look at failures as a beautiful experience which has taught you very personally how things should not be done now once you have learned if you repeat it second time then it is foolish but i think it is human to err 
but it is foolish to repeat that same mistakes again and again learn from it don't beat yourself up and when you do feel down there are your friends there are your teachers from balavihar i am there we are all there we are just a phone call away never feel that you are lonely you never feel that you are all by yourself fighting in this big bad world there needs to be a minor connect correction and when that minor correction is done the connection is better so use those opportunities of failures as building blocks of life and the last point that i would like to say is maintain a firm connection with your own roots with your own values with a, with your own practices allot yourself some time daily to sit down light a lamp have an altar have a a japa mala of sorts and sit down connect with that bhagwan talk to that bhagwan unburden yourself and keep that hindu identity alive because as you dive deep into it you find many methods to gather the mind to collect it because we become scattered quite easily so to gather we need techniques our system teaches it after gathering you have to find access to the mind then be able to balance it control it in such a situation wherein you become more and more independent than dependent so control and then with all the access and energy garnered you channelize it in the most productive effective efficient positive output that you can be as a solution to the world that is given as a connection in this hindu spiritual identity so keep your practices up stay connected stay in touch wherever you are spread your wings learn grow and may your shuddha antakarana may your pure intellect become wiser than the wisest stronger than the strongest that when we turn around and look at this beautiful giant that would have grown in you as you it will only leave us with a certainty of pride in all of us who have put that effort to give you that opportunity to learn to grow to expand and to be the highest and the best that you can be as an offering to that altar to this humanity from our society may bhagwan be there always with you may the entire guru parampara be there with you may the blessings of your parents guide you forward from the depth of my heart i congratulate you and wish you a very beautiful amazing future that you can uh, bask in so to the teachers to the sevaks and sevikas to the parents thank you for all that you do it is a thankless job but one thing to remember that to raise a child we need the entire village so thank you to the entire village uh, happy graduation all the best hari om